Hey everyone. Today I want to talk about my Notion setup uh, that I use throughout each week. Um, so we'll just jump right into it. So what we're looking at right now is my week page. And on this page, I've got a section for quick links. Um, this is just like the name implies, just quick links to other pages. Uh, I end up sticking to previous weeks. I can go back to that quickly. And eventually I'll have the next week here as well in this placeholder. I also have a section for the days of this week. And each day is just another page. And they're, they're all basically the same page. And we'll take a look at that uh, soon. The next part here is um, a lights table. And this is just a database. Um, this is a concept that uh, I saw from Ultraworking. And it's basically a habit tracker. So you can specify uh, for an objective on a day, whether you met it, whether you half met it, or whether you didn't meet it. And half met is just like you were, you were close to it, but not quite. Um, and then I have a link database for wins. So um, I have a master database of wins here. Uh, what's special here is that this is filtered to be just for this week so that I can see all the wins that occurred within this week. And the other thing of interest is that I've got these tags applied to each, um, to each win. And this uses a technique where we essentially have a tags database and all it is is just the icon and the name. And that ends up being a relation in the wins database. And so we're able to um, essentially have multiple um, tags on it. The next section here is the weekly review and this will just be done at the end of the week and it's basically just a retrospective on the week. Uh, I like to take a look at how I did on all my lights, um, hopefully more green than red, and just how can I adjust for this um, I also like to put a screenshot and a link to rescue time for this week. And this just helps me know where my time is going um, and I can make adjustments if needed. So let's take a look at a day. So in the day page, I also have some quick navigation links here. So I can go to the, the previous day or the next day. Um, and it's a pretty quick way to kind of just like jump through the day. I have a linked database for tasks. And um, this is filtered um, to be all the tasks that are relevant for me uh, at this point in time, or, or always relevant for me. So there's just stuff that's created today, uh, stuff in a certain status, or whatever to do in the next week. Um, the other thing that is uh, interesting is again we've got that tags relation here so we can have multiple tags on them and I also keep note of when I completed something and then the statuses are like nothing too special to just uh, status and just helps for organization purposes. I have a section here for notes and this is just a scratch pad for the day. Um, there might be nothing in it, there might be a lot of stuff um, and at the end of the day I'll just take a look at it clean it up, and if I need to, I extract it to something else. Uh, and then finally, I've got a section for the, the day's review. And this is more or less a journal, uh, like a place for journaling. Uh, and I've kind of broken it up into a personal section and a work section. And that's just so I have more of a clear division in terms of what I'm reflecting on. Uh, I end up using the breadcrumbs uh, feature here. So from the day I can go to the week and then I can go up again. So this here is the year and these are all the weeks that I've done so far. Now, whenever I, I'm going to the next week, uh, I have a template button here and this is just uh, going to generate a new page that's um, essentially a bunch of placeholders. It has the structure 
of my week. Uh, so you can see I've already got like a database for uh, the lights is all set up here. Um, I've got my linked database for winds. Uh, there's a little note that I just have to change the filter because that doesn't carry over. And then each day is already linked as well. And again, the filter for this link database is it's still the same. So by just clicking this, it'll duplicate that page. I can make all the changes I need to kind of set up for the next week. It takes about two minutes. And then I just slide it up here and we're good. So that's how I use Notion for my uh, week and day pages. Um, it's pretty good. I like it. It's obviously something that I'm going to keep playing with. Uh, I have a template in case you guys want to give it a spin or adapt it to your own needs. Um, but yeah, I look forward to hearing how people are using it. Have fun.